Okay, good afternoon class. So yesterday when we uh, did the examples, it was load shedding. So at this point we're going to do the examples again. For those of you who weren't here, it's a been, it will be beneficial. And for those of you who had problems with the homework, was there any problems? Yes. Yes, so hopefully it will be answered here. Otherwise, if it's not cleared up, we will then do it after I've done the examples of this exercise. Okay. So at this point, people will be looking at um, your exponential and your log functions. Okay. We spoke about and we read through this um, the definitions and all of those things. If you um, if we spoke about the key features of the of the log graph of the, of the sorry of the exponential graphs. Um, if you want the full lesson, you can find it in the description box below. That was on page forty-eight. Okay. So we're looking at the examples on page 49. And this is the examples for exercise 1, which are on page 50. So the question says solve for x if 27 times 3 to the x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 27 raised to the exponent x. Okay. So in your exponential equations, we want to make, you want to make the bases the same with the exponents to be equal. So 27 can be broken up into 3 cubed times 3 to the x plus 1 equals 1 over 3 cubed raised to the exponent x. So you've got 3 to the x times 3 to the x plus 1. Remember when the bases are the same and I'm multiplying again, add the exponent. So 3 plus x plus 1 is x plus 4 equals, that's going to give you 3 to the 3x. I bring that up. So I want the bases to be the same, will be 3 to the minus 3. And as you can see, the bases are the same, therefore the exponents are equal, so x plus 4 is equal to negative 3x. x is one side, numbers the other side, that is 4x equal to minus 4, x is then equal to negative 1. Okay. Let's look at the next example. And this is example two, also on page um, 49. So here we are told that the graphs of the graph of f of x equal to four x, uh, four to the x plus one is shown alongside. The question is find the coordinates of p, the y intercept. Of p. People, how do you calculate the y intercept? Y intercept, we need x equals 0. So f of 0, as you can see, it's on your on your y-axis. Anyway, on your y-axis, x is 0. So uh, it will be f of 0 is equal to 4 to the 0 plus 1, which is 4. So therefore, the coordinates of p is going to be 0 and 4. Okay. Let's look at 2.2. Find the value of a if a and 8 lies on f. Okay? So what we do is we then substitute a and 8 into f of x, into that equation of that function. Remembering that's a x and a, sorry, that's a x and a, um, a y. f of x is a y. Okay, in coordinate form, that is an x and that is a y, of course. So I would say now 8 is equal to um, 4 to the a plus 1. Again, it's your exponential equation. So what do we have to do? We have to make the bases the same for the exponents to be equal. So 8 can be written as 2 cubed. 4 can be written as 2 squared raised to the exponent a plus 1. Which is 2 cubed is equal to 2 to the... 2a plus 2. Now when bases are the same, the exponents are equal. Therefore 3 is equal to 2a plus 2. They get over the equal sign, so 3 minus 2 is 1. So I divided by 2 both sides. a is then of course equal to. Okay. So 
So um, A of course is um, the coordinates here yeah, would be a half in it. Okay. Ready 3.3? Again, I'm going to take this off. I would like to keep the diagram in focus. So number three says write down the equation of G, the reflection of if in the x-axis. So we said if something is reflected in x-axis, what's the rule? The y becomes negative. So f of x, as you know, that is a y, so it's negative y is equal to 4 to the x plus 1. So y is equal to negative 4 raised to x plus 1. Okay, so you write down the equation of g. So this is the equation of g of x. Okay? And it says, and the coordinates of q. So what do you do for the coordinates of q? Well, the coordinates of q is a reflection of, or it's an image of p, not so. So what's the rule if it's reflected in the x-axis? Y becomes negative, so Q is definitely 0 and negative 4. Okay. Any confusion here? the third example this example is also on page 49 okay so here we are told the graph of the graphs of f and g are drawn in the figure alongside g is the reflection of f in the y-axis so if something is reflected in the y-axis what happens <coughs> x becomes negative okay so f of x equal to a to the x, uh, nine, 2 and 9, and p and 1 over 81 are points on f. The question says in 3.1, determine the value of a and p. So firstly, a, a is from the formula, f of x is equal to a to the x. So I do I solve for a, if that's one unknown, so I need to substitute one point lying on this graph. Do I have one point on this graph? Yes. So you'll substitute to a, no, that's x and a y. So I say 9 is equal to a squared. Not so. If I introduce square root, what must I not forget? Plus minus. But a will be greater than 0 here. Remember, that's the condition to your exponential graph. a has to be greater than 0. And a can't be equal to 1. So a is then equal to 3. So my equation now reads f of x equals 3 raised to the power x. I couldn't have substituted this point in at this, uh, to, to solve for a. Otherwise, we'll have two unknowns, as you can see. Okay? So my equation has f of x equals 3 to the x. Now, in order to calculate p, you're going to substitute p and 1 over 81 into f of x equals 3 to the x. Remembering this is the x and the y. So 1 over 81 is equal to 3 to the p. Again, it's an exponential equation. Can you see that? So 1 over 81 can be written as 81 is 3 to the 4. So that's going to give you 3 to the negative 4 is equal to 3 to the p. Therefore, p is equal to negative 4. So that's negative 4 and 1 over 82. Okay, any confusion there? No? Look at number 2. Determine the equation of g in the form of y equals. Now remember, we said if something is reflected in the y-axis. But we say what's the rule? x becomes negative. Now f of x equation now is 3 to the x. So I say now y is equal to 3 to the minus x. Or 
It's going to be one over three raised to the x. Both is acceptable, you get the full marks. So they want to know the equation of two. Okay. That's really simple. The last one, 3.3. Determine the equation of H, the reflection of F in the x axis. So what is it? The rule is something is reflected in x axis. Y becomes negative. Okay? So it's a reflection of F. And remember that is against the F graph. So you get negative y is equal to 3 to the x. So I divide by negative 1 both sides. So y is equal to negative 3 to the x. And that is the equation of h of x. And where do I get the h from? Okay. Any confusion? No. So with that you should be able to do exercise 1 on page 50. I'm going to stop the video at this point.